I've got all my small rifle primers loaded. Since I'm doing the 6.8, I have both small and large uh, primer pockets in some of the brass. The large rifle primer is some old Remington that I have. I haven't really bought brass in a while, but anyways, now that we've got all the small pistol or the small primers out of the way, I need to switch over my auto prime to do the large primers. If you notice here, this is what designates the small or large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down right here, remove my shell plate. Then on the handle here, undo its hinge right here at the bottom. So it's going to pull that out, set it on the table. This comes out right here. It's got the little priming rod and the uh, spring in there and set that aside. Then I pull out my large primer one. The hole here is slightly larger and oops, a little rod fell out and the rod is much larger to accommodate the large primer. So I take it, put it right here, slide it up, take my handle, take the little cam, jam it up in there where the spring is and then clip it in to the little loop right there and now we're ready to go minus the shell plate. So now we're ready to do large primers and the process is basically the same after that. Okay as mentioned there's another way to seat primers and that's using the press itself. I have an older three hole Lee turret press here and um, it comes with this little adapter here for seating primers. One side's for small primers and the other side's for large. So this is really simple to use. It's just a little bit more time consuming rather than the auto prime. You take your primer and you put it on upside down so that the primer is facing upward. You take a piece of brass, put it on the shell plate holder, push the lever up there, and then bring the, the casing down, push very gently and then it takes care of it. It seated the primer just then. So there we go. We got a nice little primer there. Anyways, like I said, this is this takes a little bit longer doing it this way. Plus you have to handle the primers a little bit more. You know, and if you have oily hands or anything, maybe you're cleaning a gun or something, you want to make sure that you don't handle these primers with uh, those kind of impurities on it because it could affect the uh, <laughs> if they go off or not basically. Let me get a little closer here. Just push that in. Bring the ram down. Seats up and good to go. Okay, so when seating the bullet, you want to make sure you don't violate the case overall length, or COL as it's called. Now you're going to find this information on any of the reloading sites or in your reloading book, and it's going to show you the maximum length, the maximum overall length that uh, you can load this bullet to and still function in your gun. So don't go too close to that overall length. You might find issues with the way it fits in a magazine, and I've gone just to the limit and you can notice how my the tips of the bullets are just barely touching the front of the magazine Oops, moved on me there so pay attention to the to the case overall length as per the specs because the last thing you want to do is load up a whole bunch of bullets and have them not fit in your magazine well thanks for watching and please subscribe for more competition shooting and gun reviews thanks it's gonna freak you out. Did it stop? Is it ready? Wait for the beat. Here it is. Thanks.
Oh, I already split that one bow. How many do we have? Do you want to three count it for me? Uh, we have one, two, three. Let me count.